Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. So check this out. I kind of lost interest in a project, so I'm kind of going in a little bit different direction. This is my Farm All H. This thing started out with one Predator 212, and I thought, you know what would be cool? If it will run pretty good with one Predator 212, I'm going to put three on it. So that's what I started doing. I got a lot of the mechanics worked out, and then I bought the MG, and I started putting the 18 horsepower engine in it, and I completely lost interest in this. Well, here it is. It's car show week. Uh, next week, uh, actually one week from today, Priceville, Alabama is having their annual car show. It's a big car show, 300 plus cars. And I took the truck there last year. It was wildly popular. Everybody loved it. Um, I'm taking the MG this year and maybe the truck. I don't know. I haven't decided. But here's the deal. I have this Predator 670 sitting over here that I'm going to put in the Key Farm pickup truck because it's already got a hood scoop on it and there's plenty of room. I don't want to put the 670 in the car right now because the hood won't fit and I don't want to cut the hood. So once I do that, I either got to run it with the hood off or cut the hood or buy a second hood and cut that hood. Anyway, chasing a squirrel. But for now, I'm going to get rid of all of this Triple Predator 212 stuff. Uh, winter time will be here soon enough and I'll need to use this tractor to move hay around. So I'm going to put the 18 horsepower Duramax that's in the truck that's been in there for a year, almost a year. I'm going to put it on the tractor. It may bush hog with 18 horsepower. I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. And I'm going to put these three 212s on the shelf and maybe I get back to that. And then that'll make room in the truck once the 18 is out to put the Predator 670 in there. And I know we've all been waiting on it. So nothing really left to do but for me to get to work. All right. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I worked on it all day yesterday in the brutal heat. It's miserable out here. So, but anyway, um, the 212 has been on there for since 2019. So that's four years uh, I was gonna put three 212s on it and I lost interest we covered that just a minute ago so now right there's the truck sitting out there I took the motor out of the truck yesterday put it on the tractor yesterday I got a 36 tooth sprocket down there so that's 2.57 to 1 gear ratio this tractor out the back um, I'm sorry, this engine originally would turn 1,650 RPMs to make 540 out the back. Well, with this gear ratio setup, with 36 here and the reduction we got, we should have 1,400 RPMs going into the tractor, which I realize is less than stock, but I wanted a little bit more torque amplification, if you will. There's no way to get more horsepower but you can use gearing and get more torque. So, um, look, I put this thing together right back here in the back of the shop. You see we had uh, one little spill right there. Um, oh, one update. This thing got new tires in February. Yeah, well, new front tires. So, um, I ran it around the yard. Hey, it runs good. It's real smooth. It's got a real throttle on it this time. If you remember, the old one had a rope. So there's the throttle right there. And then, look, I came up here and I built this bracket so that I could attach it to this. And I even drilled a hole in this 3 8 bolt so I could bolt it right there. Apparently, this piece of metal is impenetrable. I, I couldn't drill it. So I'm going to have to weld an eyelet on the back. But right now, it's just clamped on there with washers. But it has a real locking throttle all the way up. And I really, I'm pretty proud of it. So, hey, y'all, ain't nothing to do but load it on the trailer, take it to the farm, run it around the pasture a little bit, hook the bush hog to it, and see if it'll cut grass. Personally, I don't think it will. It'll cut sparse grass, I think, but it ain't gonna cut nothing heavy. But if it does, that would be pretty cool. Whew, sweating profusely. Uh, keep watching.
All right, y'all, I got it loaded, but I did something dumb. Now, you see the way this trailer locks? See that pin? Well, that pin, even when it's pulled back, it still sticks out a little bit. And I have hit it with the tire before. And if you know anything about tractor tires, that can be a very expensive problem if you get a pin through the side. So I was real concerned about hitting that pin. Well, in being real concerned, I was riding the brake and I didn't let off the fuel and I got that clutch hot because I had it partially engaged with my foot on the brake. Ooh, that's on me. All right, let's go to the farm. Alright y'all, there's the H project tractor and the old tire C, tired C. It does a good job, but she's old and she's tired. Alright, there's my drag type bush hog. About to get it over here and hook to the project. Alright y'all, so I hopped off and went back and got the bush hog. But I think you can see this path right here that it cut. So look, it's definitely gonna top all these little weeds. And you'll see one spot right here that it cut. I mean, this grass wasn't very tall, but it is, it's really, really thick right through here. And it did load up the motor. I mean, I could, I could hear it. So, I mean, this stuff here is pretty thick. But you can see it's kind of topping the weeds pretty well. So, I don't think this is going to be your thick bush hog tractor, but, uh, Hey, I'm pretty impressed so far. All right, let's get some shots. Y'all, it's working. Now look, it's not going to cut like a 35 horse tractor because it's not a 35 horse tractor. It's an 18 and even that is debatable. But now the test is how hot is that clutch? Look at there. If you've been around mini bikes, if that clutch is very hot, I can't do that. So I just made three rounds 
and the clutch is not so hot that I can't touch it. I can't leave my hand on it. But hey. <laughs> so, y'all, this is not going to replace a farm tractor if you got acreage to cut. But I got some trails off here in the back, and I wouldn't hesitate to cut trails with it. Cut a spot for a green field. I think it would work great for that. I mean, I cut this little swath, and y'all can tell my pasture's kind of grown up. Well, it's always kind of grown up. Wow, I'm kind of impressed. Would you leave me alone? I'm trying to finish the video. Golly. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Man, it. I'm going to be honest. It cuts better than I thought it would. All right. You want to tell them, love God, love people, and watch some of these other videos. Y'all, it's so hot out here, I almost forgot. Now it's time to get to work putting the 670 Predator in the pickup truck.